On Wednesday, the Supreme Court is set to deliberate on a case that could overturn the long-standing federal prohibition of bump stocks, accessories that enable semi-automatic firearms to mimic the rapid fire of machine guns. This case, known as Garland v. Cargill, stems from a legal challenge by bump stock owner Michael Cargill against the ban enacted in 2018, following the devastating Las Vegas mass shooting in 2017. Bump stocks modify a semi-automatic rifle by incorporating a sliding mechanism and trigger guard, which leverages the firearm's recoil to rapidly press the trigger against the shooter's finger, facilitating a much faster discharge of bullets. Historically, machine guns, defined by federal law as firearms capable of firing multiple rounds with a single trigger pull without the need for manual reloading, have been illegal. Initially, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ATF, did not classify bump stocks as illegal, viewing them merely as firearm parts. However, the Las Vegas shooting, the deadliest in recent U.S. history, prompted a re-evaluation, leading to a 2018 ATF rule that classified bump stocks under the definition of machine guns, thereby making them illegal. The courts have been divided on the issue with some appeals courts upholding the legality of bump stocks and others supporting their prohibition. The Supreme Court's forthcoming decision, expected before the end of its June term, is highly anticipated for its implications on federal law enforcement and public safety. Please support us by clicking on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell for more updates. The Biden administration has emphasized the significance of the court's decision arguing that a ruling in favor of bump stocks' legality could have widespread consequences, including the unregulated sale of these devices without background checks or proper identification. Manufacturers have defended bump stocks, asserting they were designed to aid individuals with limited hand mobility. Yet, critics argue they are aimed at circumventing regulations on automatic weapons. This case is part of a broader slate of gun-related issues before the Supreme Court following a landmark ruling two years prior that invalidated New York's concealed carry law and set new limits on gun control measures. Other cases include challenges to gun ownership restrictions for individuals with domestic violence restraining orders, and a First Amendment case concerning gun rights organizations' business relations. The debate over bump stocks has seen shifts in political and public opinion, especially after the Las Vegas tragedy, leading to calls for regulation even among some gun control opponents. The outcome of this case could have far-reaching implications for gun policy and regulation in the United States. The Supreme Court's review of the bump stock ban is not just a legal assessment of a firearm accessory, but also a critical moment in the ongoing national dialogue on gun control and rights. This legal scrutiny comes in the wake of significant tragedies that have spurred a re-evaluation of gun legislation, and the balance between public safety and individual rights under the Second Amendment. The ATF's reversal on bump stocks, from legality to a classification that aligns them with machine guns, underscores the complex nature of firearm regulation and the challenges of adapting laws to technological advancements in firearms. The Supreme Court's decision in Garland v. Cargill will thus not only determine the future of bump stocks, but also potentially set a precedent for how similar devices are regulated. The case has attracted attention from various stakeholders, including gun rights advocates, gun control proponents, and public safety officials, all of whom are closely watching to see how the court will navigate the intricate legal and societal issues at play. The administration's stance highlights concerns that a decision favoring bump stocks could undermine efforts to control the proliferation of rapid-fire weapons and complicate enforcement of existing gun laws. Moreover, the Supreme Court's ruling could signal how the judiciary interprets gun control regulations, following its decision on New York's concealed carry law. That ruling has already impacted the legal landscape for gun control, and further decisions could either solidify or challenge the court's approach to Second Amendment rights. The case also reflects broader tensions in American society regarding gun rights with bump stocks becoming a symbol of the debate over how to reconcile the constitutional right to bear arms with the imperative to prevent gun violence. In the aftermath of the Las Vegas shooting, the public outcry led to a rare consensus among some lawmakers and the National Rifle Association, NRA, on the need to regulate bump stocks, though the NRA's subsequent support for Cargill at the Supreme Court illustrates the ongoing debate within the gun rights community. As the Supreme Court prepares to hear arguments and eventually issue a ruling, 
the nation awaits a decision that could have profound implications for the future of gun regulation, the interpretation of the Second Amendment, and the safety of communities across the United States. This case is a pivotal moment that may shape American gun policy for years to come, reflecting the ongoing struggle to find common ground in the contentious arena of gun control and rights. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.